The ocean covers two-thirds of the surface of Earth. Its average depth is 14,000 feet. Despite all of our technology, vast areas of the ocean remain unexplored. So what lurks offshore in the unknown realms of the abyss? We just drove the boat three miles south of Oahu, and underneath us is about a thousand feet of water. It's a little bit before midnight. We're going to jump overboard, descend to about 60 or 70 feet, and we'll drift. And we'll see what kinds of interesting animals swim towards our camera. Drifting through mid-water in the black of night is an otherworldly experience. It's a world of tentacles, fluid-filled sacks, and body shapes that could only come from a science fiction movie. If someone showed you paintings of these animals, you'd be hard-pressed to believe that they were real. Organisms like this pyrosome are actually a colony of hundreds of individuals. They somehow manage to organize themselves and the shape that they've formed becomes home to a larval fish. One of the most striking creatures that is common in the black water are tenophores or comb jellies. Tenophores are carnivorous and many of them capture their prey with sticky cells on their tentacles called coloblasts and they'll use their tentacles to move the, the prey up towards their mouth where they will ingest them. One of the things that makes the tenophore so spectacular to watch are the colors that pulsate up and down their bodies. And while there are lots of animals in the ocean that bioluminesce or create their own light, the light that you're seeing here is actually diffraction and reflection of our lights that's bouncing off of their cilia, which is what the tenophores are using to move. While they may look like what we know as jellyfish, tenophores are actually classified separately from true jellyfish, which are in the phylum Cnidaria. And the main difference between these two groups is that the tenophores have these cilia that they use for locomotion. There's a huge diversity in the body shapes of tenophores and they even include this ribbon-like organism that's known as a venous girdle. Scuba diving at night in the open ocean is not something that a lot of people do. Many of the creatures here we don't know an awful lot about. And this kind of an experience just goes to remind us how unexplored the world's oceans are.